Sean O'Malley is one of the most exciting fighters in the UFC. Every fight he's doing the one-twos between the legs. He's shooting the basketball. He's doing walk-away KOs. I mean, who doesn't want to see this guy win? He can be the next Connor. That at UFC 306, Marab Davalos Philly is going to drown Sean O'Malley in that cage. It's not that just now Marab could beat Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley could never beat Marab Davalos Philly. Not now. Not then. Not when he even came out the room. Marab was built with something special. His cardio, his pace, his shin. Sean O'Malley's never seen anything like that. Sean O'Malley's going to be after that second round. <laughs> Casting for air. Asking coach, how is this guy not finished yet? This is just the beginning. Marab's going to go across that cage, shoot for a takedown at least 20 times. At least. He's going to be throwing shots with his chin up in the air. He's going to be eating shots from Sean O'Malley like it's nothing. Sean O'Malley has to land the luckiest KO in UFC history to knock out Marab. The only way Marab Devolves really can lose to Sean O'Malley is if someone from the crowd throws in a banana peel and Marab slips on the ground, tears his ACL, and he still might beat Sean O'Malley. I mean, this fight's not even going to be close. Sean O'Malley is built like a toothpick. Marab could go to war right now. He has the pace. He has the drive. No one can beat this man right now. It's Sean O'Malley's all right. Sean O'Malley has a good, the good boxing, the good, the good, just the good everything. But Marab is just that much better than anybody right now. To beat Jose Aldo like that, to drown Peter Yan, to come back like that against Marlon Marias, one of the hardest hitting betting weights of all time. There is no way Sean O'Malley can beat Marab. There's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do. There could be five Sean O'Malley's in the cage. Marab would still beat him. There's nothing he can do. Marab's going to be the champion. He's going to become the best bantamweight in UFC history. Not even close. Who can beat this guy? He's out there taking down gold medalist Henry Cejudo. You think he's not going to take down toothpick Sean O'Malley? He's going to take Sean O'Malley down about at least 10 times in the third and fourth round. He's going to play with them. He's going to toy with them like he's his son. Sean O'Malley has nothing he can do about it. Sean O'Malley couldn't even knock out Cheeto Vera. Cheeto Vero's boxing is one of the worst I've ever seen in my life. He just stands there right in front of you. He's like, he's like a punching bag. You can't knock that guy out. Got lucky against Aljamain Sterling. That was Aljo on his worst night. And he still took the first round from Sean O'Malley. And you're telling me this guy's going to beat Marab? The same Marab who beat Peter Yon 50-44? When Sean O'Malley went to death with Peter Yon? There's just nothing he can do. Sean O'Malley would have, to, would have to go back in time, put some PEDs in his cereal, inject some steroids at about 13 years old. There's nothing he can do. At UFC 306, it's not even going to be close. Marad Deval is going to eat every shot Sean O'Malley throws. Sean O'Malley can throw that right down the middle. It might catch him around right the chin. Marab's going to walk right through it. Sean O'Malley doesn't have knockout power. Aljamain Sterling just got caught on the worst night of his career. If Aljamain Sterling had proper rest, proper preparation, he beats he beats Sean O'Malley easily. Sean O'Malley has had handpicked opponents every fight in the UFC. He didn't even beat Pedro Munoz. Pedro, Pedro Munoz is schooling this guy on the feet. I mean, watch that first round. Sean O'Malley couldn't do anything to him. He had a viral moment, did a little ballerina thing, a spin. But watch that fight. He did nothing to him. Cheeto Vera in the first fight, kicking this dude's leg. Messed up his nerve. I mean, this guy didn't even beat Peter Yan. Watch the fight again. Peter Yan hit this guy with the kitchen sink. Peter Yan hit that dude with that left hand. Sean O'Malley's lights almost went out. I mean, did Peter Yan even land a strike on Marab? No. It's over. After this fight, Sean O'Malley's going to be irrelevant. There's nothing he can do about it. I mean, after this fight, he can maybe fight. I don't know. Who's going to fight? Harry Sudo after this? It might be Henry Cejudo because Henry Cejudo's striking is terrible. But his career is over. Do you think he can beat Ilya Teporia? If Sean O'Malley somehow wins this fight and Marab turns his ACL in the first five seconds, Ilya Teporia's going to knock this dude's head off the fucking, into the fucking atmosphere. There's nothing he can do. Ilya Teporia's boxing is too crisp. His disadvantage is too special. If this guy ever went up and fought him, it might, I mean, it'll be negative 
the odds wouldn't even be close. It might be close, honestly, because Sean O'Malley, Dick Riders, they'll bet on him. But it's not it's not going to be close. Ilo Tapura is on a different level. Murad Duvall Philly is on a different level. UFC 306, Sean O'Malley is going to go back to what he always was. A social media star. He never was the best. He's got hand-picked fights. Dana White privilege. He never was that guy. Murad Duvall Philly was always that guy. From birth, the hard work. From Georgia. I mean, Sean O'Malley, I mean, what what does he do better than Marab? His striking, okay? Marab Devali Philly is eight punches from Marlon Marias. A 20 times harder puncher than Sean O'Malley. Let's go deeper. Sean O'Malley is a cuck. He's letting dudes fuck his wife. Every time a dude's gonna beat Marab Devali Philly? Come on! There's nothing he can do! 306 is over! Murad Duvall's Philly is going to be the best bantamweight of all time. Unless Aljamain Sterling goes back down again. And that would be a great fight. Two of the most skilled bantamweights ever fighting each other. I mean, you can tell. Sean O'Malley is just... Are you intimidated by him? Be honest. If you've seen Sean O'Malley walking up to you in a bar, you're going to start laughing at him. Look at his hair. He looks like a clown. Literally. He can't trash talk. He stumbles over his words at the press conferences. His personality is dull. He's got lucky that Snoop Dogg... I mean, he was commentating the fight. That's what made him famous. Everything else has been lackluster. His podcast, terrible. His cringe videos, terrible. He wasn't built to be Conor McGregor. He's nobody. He's going to go out to be a nobody after Saturday. Because after Murad Duvall is Philly, 50 for him, submits him, makes him look like a joke, nobody's going to want to watch him anymore. I mean... No one wants to watch him now. It's just a bunch of like 17 or 18 year olds who drink beer, think it's cool, think his pretty hair is cool with the pink. But no one, everyone knows he's not the best. He's a hand picked fighter to be the UFC's next star. And Rob Devala Philly's going to end that at UFC 306. Thank you guys for watching after this video. I want to thank, so I'll let you guys know ahead of time. Go pick the odds, pick Rob. It's the easiest fight. It's the easiest pick of my life. Rob Devalish Philly, by decision. See you guys next time.